So I guess I'm saved at that bonfire now. It's about the closest I can get to a bonfire. Unless there's one in the catacombs. Just curious how many souls I can pop here. Oh, I still I have soul of Quilag and Soul of Moonlight Butterfly. I I think you can use the Soul of Moonlight Butterfly to make a shield. I think I look yeah, I looked that one up. I think the shield's actually pretty cool. Like lets you shoot out some sort of light ray attack. I guess my other option here would have been to upgrade Faith twice. So let's see, let's I'm just gonna compare that amount of damage to if I just attack with the Drake Drake sword. So fifty-five. I don't know if it was really worth it to upgrade that. Let's try this. Forty-eight. I don't know if that was really worth it. Oh wait, but does that have that crumbling effect? Oops. See, I don't know if the Drake sword has that. Might be the one difference. Yeah. Probably shouldn't just be so carelessly taking damage here. So that's this mace has that going for it at least. Now I actually have to find the entrance to this place. I don't know if it's by this big skeleton or what. Maybe it is. Certainly a big gravestone here. I remember I wasn't a particularly big fan of fighting these guys. Can't remember what I did last time. Oh, that just reminded me, I actually wanted to change what fire spells I had on. I always forget that you have to do that at a bonfire. So I think these guys aren't too bad. Uh, they have that one, like, thing where they just bring the sword down, that one. Oh, this missed a little easier than I expected. Well, that did knock him over. I not really like fighting you. Not sure if I can backstab this guy. Not so bad. Let's see what. I guess my spear's out now. Oh, why did I. I guess from switching weapons you put your shield down for a second. I'm not sure why I took damage. Oh, yeah. So I don't really pay attention to these things. I'm already significantly damaged against this big skeleton. Being rather careless. I want to fight with my Drake sword. It's a little faster than the mace. So I can just be a little more aggressive with them. They're not that fast. Let's see if this entrance is near here. Prefer to not have to fight another big one. Take the low lower route here. I didn't really go this way before. I can hit both of them at once. Not sure if I can repeatedly do that. I guess it's not too hard to repeatedly do it to one. What the hell? That was unexpected.
expected. I feel like that's the first time I've been parried like that. Based off my current success so far, I'm not feeling too confident going down in the catacombs. Is this the path? Must be, I've never been down here. Let's see, I was just remembering. Might as well put Might as well put my pyromancy flame here. So I brought this pyromancy. My phone finished charging. Here we are in the catacombs. Whoa, what the hell is that? No clue what that was. It seems like it damaged this poor skeleton, though. Looks like that's something I'm gonna have to deal with in a second. Can't lock onto it. What the hell? Maybe this is what people were talking about with needing divine weapons. Oh. So the question is, can I really actually come here if I don't have a divine weapon? I don't think I can fight a guy who keeps popping back to life every second. See what happens. Hmm. I don't think I would have figured that out on my own that I needed a divine weapon to come here. Well, I do like this morning star for the fact that the skeleton doesn't have a chance to respond, but I don't like the fact that he comes back to life every second. I don't know if I just have to like increase my weapon to divine type or if I really need to use that Astora straight sword. Force me to get 14 faith. I don't think he wants to leave there. Oh, maybe he does. I don't know how many divine weapons there are really check. I feel like I left an item here a while ago. I don't feel like I can do very much down there right now. Oh god. This guy just like freaks me out. Uh, so I either did have to level up twice so I could use level up my faith twice. Or just say screw the catacombs and go back there later. Let's see. Where is it? I'm assuming this would kill the enemies permanently. Or at least until I reset the bonfire. Guessing this is just gonna be like all weapons that I can't use well. Well, it doesn't seem that bad. Is it supposed to be slow? I guess it kind of is. I guess it probably just has a really big damage reduction right now. Minus 59 to magic. I guess I can check to see what other weapons there are for me.
Okay, so apparently I can uh, just upgrade my one of my weapons to divine using a green shard, my green well, titanite you need thingy. For. I didn't. I hadn't remembered this, but apparently I'd already gotten the divine ember. It's right after the moonlight butterfly, and so anything that's plus five can be upgraded to divine type. So I'm just going to upgrade my Morning Star. I'm saving my spear for uh, potential other paths. Let's see if I have anything I can repair a couple things over here. Don't get yourself killed. So now I should be good to go. I should have done that earlier. Although I only have one Whoa. Scared the hell out of me. Yeah, what was I doing again? That's right. I wanted to take off this magic. How do I remove you? Uh, oh, that's how I do it. So... Fireball, I can put my great iron flesh in here. It seems I've kind of determined I don't want to use that because it's too good. I'll just put two types of fire. Oh, maybe I'll put fire in my regular heal actually. I can't remember which one of these things I preferred. Let's see what this is. I'm not a huge fan of either of these, really. It's kind of slow. I'm still doing pyromancy, though, because I know there's some spells later on that are a little better. I think I would slightly prefer regular fireball. Still has use. Uh, how much humanity do I have? Determining if I want to use humanity before I go into the catacombs. It seems the way it works is anytime I actually turn myself back into a human, I seem to die much sooner. Time to find my divine morning star. It's like I could slightly sort this in my inventory. I think actually there's a guy who sells the bottomless box. I don't think I did, I didn't buy that yet, did I? So I can actually put some of my stuff somewhere else. So I don't have four stone great swords in my inventory. This I can move this somewhere else. Move it next to all my other stuff. That's a little better. Alright, so back to the catacombs. Actually, I'm also going to kindle this. I never kindle any bonfires, but I kind of feel like kindling one. So I think someone said they carry over to New Game Plus. Oh, you can't kindle while hollowed. Hmm. I guess I could turn myself back into a human. Oh. Guys has Solaris stuff. <clears throat> that looks like Dome Hall's helmet, helmet or whatever the hell his name is. The guy who sells the crystal stuff. Well, I guess I'll just carry humanity on me. I don't really feel like going back to human form.
Okay, now I'm going back to the catacombs. was that? It's like some sort of magical effect. Just a couple more skeletons on my way. Okay, time to see if this kills this skeleton dude for good. It should. Just wanted to check its stats again. Oh, there it is. 110 in Divine. And so I still have to watch out for this fiery stuff. 